All right, hello everyone. Here we are back for hole number six. Now, the way that I'm going to do this is hmm, be a little bit different. Since you saw what I did with yesterday, I tried a sniper, kingmaker. You know, certain guys might not have um, that capability to, to go out that far with a sniper. So why don't I, for this hole, I'm just going to do something a little bit different. We'll go QB with an Oceana ball. So it'll give us just kind of a fresh perspective. I've yet to try this, but went as well. Alternatively, you're going to want to stay with a Kingmaker most likely and just go with a Sniper. But what I can usually do is I can kind of use my max, you know, a little bit closer to the max ring adjustment with whatever they give me. You know, maybe a mid club. I'm kind of thinking maybe somewhere up in here. This is kind of accounting for elevation. Alternatively, you know, I can do it like this. And I can pull it down towards men, and it would probably, you know, balance out and give me a very similar. You can see it's almost a max ring adjustment with that extra elevation thrown in. So you can see kind of what I'm doing. Um, you know, six rings or so. Plus a little bit of curl. Ah, caught a great ball. Ah. Uh. So that is going to block the shot out. As you can see, it shoots out to the right now. I might have had just a tiny bit too much backspin on there. But you can see that that would have gave you kind of a nice perspective, especially if I hit perfect ball. That's two great balls on the right edge in a row. If you guys just watched my last revision, I just did that exact same thing on the last hole. And on the last hole, I, you know, it was potentially definitely cost me a stroke or very very close it would have at least slipped out and uh on this one um you know it would have been a hard make either way but you know missing perfect ball i i, I just know that it's going to you know block it out and not be very good so one of the things that you can see you know with this plus you know, 20% number that I use, you know, down close to min. I can either use a slider or I can just say, you know, the mid club adjustment 6.2 is the wind. So I can just move wind rings. So you'll see that they're kind of equivalent statements here. So it kind of gives you, you know, multiple ways to use the application. But just keep in mind that, you know, that plus 20% is kind of, you know, a very good indicator for this hole. That's what I have always used for this hole. And you can see that when it works out towards a min club QB, it basically is just one to one on the ring scale. So whatever your rings is, you just go that wind. So if you want to go for that method, you know, that's the, that's the way that you would go about doing it for setting up your shot. But all in all, you can see that, you know, that this hole is going to be slightly challenging going to be kind of hard to uh you know get that hole either way but you know positively you know you want to hit that perfect ball if you're able to do it so um you know that's the best advice i can give you for that one um take a look at either of those methods that i used it really doesn't matter um which way you try to go you know whatever you have balls to do you know, if you have kingmakers, then do the sniper. If you have, uh, you know, if you have these top tier balls, you know, going with a driver and if you hit perfect ball, you know, it's going to be, it's going to give you maybe just a little bit more control to where you could potentially hold it out. So good luck there, guys. And well, I guess since we're, since I'm already into this hole, I'll just go ahead and play it through. That's actually a pretty good shot, especially for basic ball. So let's see what I can do here. Five point four miles per hour. We're gonna do a very similar shot to what you saw me do last time, with the big difference being in this this case, um, we have a headwind, which is gonna kind of change the way that I go about setting up my spin and my ball guide stuff like that. You'll see that I'm kind of keeping it behind, and as I mentioned. 
Uh, you know, I wouldn't worry too much, guy. I think I've done this. <clears throat> you know, you, you want to play a little bit more one-to-one -one, um, and maybe a little bit more than an over-adjustment. So you'll see that I might have even gone 5.7 rings as opposed to 5.4 um, because, uh, and it looks like, oh, of course I get it on the shootout and I missed it. So if you go back and watch my video, I missed it in the... Uh, Uh, hole three when we played it, but of course I get it on the shootout. So, um, you know, hopefully you guys can, um, you know, get that par three to drop for you. And, uh, you know, I wish you guys luck. Let me know how it goes and catch you guys on hole seven coming up.